All right. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. There's nothing on the screen. Silence on the set. Take rolling. Three, two, one, action. Welcome to Obamus. News. Now. Raw. The. Intro. My name is McKenna. And I'm Wyatt, and welcome to the MMS News. Remember, this month's character trait is respect. Respect means a deep <laughs> feeling of admiration for someone or something because of their abilities, qualities, or achievements. Go to the MMS News website and fill out the survey to see your name scroll across the screen, as always. We can't wait to see what kind of respectful students we have here at MMS. Now we go to our first story of the week, our MMS News story with Adam. Hi, I'm the MMS News guy. Guy. And this week, a lot is happening. One day, Mad Club, Mid Quarter, Seven and Silver, and Seven Red. Field Trip Movie, 9-15. Tuesday, Track at Northwood, and Four, four O'Clock Soccer, and BLE at CT. Thursday, Soccer Track, Home, it's 4-15. Friday, day, Half Day for St his dismissal at 10:25. Half teachers in whole day. Day. Bye, MMS. is here with some information about an upcoming band performance. That is sure to sound great. Hey guys, it's the Bretton Brooks Show and today I'm going to be talking about the Honor Band Concert. If you're not in band, the Honor Band Concert is when musicians are chosen from different schools like Parkland to play music. It happened at MMS in the main gym on Wednesday the, and the practice was on Monday. If you were in track, you might have seen showing where the sections were. This was the Retton Brooks Show spinning up. Bye, MMS. Matt and Matt have a new comic you can binge this long weekend. Hey, MMS, it's us, the comic collectors, and today we are talking about someone from the Marvel Universe Legion. We are talking about him because of a new show that's on TV. His real name is David Charles Hollander, and he is the mutant son of Professor Charles Xavier and Gabriel Hollander. Legion takes the role of an anti-hearing hero and has a severe mental illness, including a form of identity disorder in which of his alternative personnel controls one of his many superpowers. Legion stars in his own TV show that of the same name where he's portrayed by Dan Stevens, created by writer Chris Claremont and artist Bill Sienkiewicz. Legion made his debut in New Mutants 25 in March 1985. That's all for now, but remember to have a good Easter. The Anime Insider is back with his special brand of awesome, so enjoy! Konnichiwa MMS, Boruto Uzumaki, paging in this week. Today, the anime I'm going to review is... Boruto. You heard me right, Boruto, not Naruto. This anime is about Naruto's son, Boruto. With that out of the way, I can say that this is a show about Boruto, a self-centered little brat. He mainly acts this way because his father is always working late into the night. Strange things happen when he meets a kid called Denki, who was always bullied and was forced to go to the Ninja Academy by his father. Wishing to not go to the Academy, a dark chakra force, or I don't know, this is only one episode, possessed him and whatever is forced is near Borto, some kind of tentagon in his right eye appears. That's all I have for today. Go see this anime for yourself to see what's going on. One warning, this anime happens right after Naruto Shippuden, so there's only two to three episodes of this anime. Sayonara. Oren is here and ready to lay some history down for your favorite video game. Hello, how are you people? My name is Oren Shooter and today we're going to be talking about the real life, Shinonuma. Now what I'm talking about here is a Black Ops 1 Zombies map. 
that takes place in World War II in Asia. Now, we all know that there were no bases in um, Japanese or Chinese jungles, so I couldn't really pinpoint the particular swamp. But there is one that does stand out. The Akagara Swamp is one of the most creepiest swamps in China, and it did actually have a Japanese base there once. Now, we're not talking about today Japan, we're talking about Imperial Japan. Now, in some cases, the Akagara Swamp in mythology is said to be the perfect place to die. The Akagara Swamp is also known to hold many demons and evil spirits. Even when you enter this place, you can feel a deep sense of dread and depression. Now, we all know Japanese bases in China were running low on resources, and they can get really supplies to them. Finally, after World War II ended, the base was abandoned and left to crumble. Some people even say you could still smell the dead corpses rotting. Now, nah, I'm just scaring you. This was the real life Shinonuma. My name is Warren Shu, and I'll see you on the next one. On to the music. Let's see who is topping the charts this week. Hey, it's Leah, and I'm doing top 10 again, alone, against my will. Anyway, I'm with the list. Number 10 is You Don't Know Me by Jax J featuring Rick. Number 9 is Despacio by Luis Fonzi featuring Daddy Yankee. Number 8 is Stay by Zed and Elisa Cara. Number 7 is Galway Girl by Ed Sheeran. Number 6 is Humble by Kendrick Lamar. Number 5 is Rockabye by Clean Bandit featuring Sean Paul and Anne Marie. Number 4 is It Ain't Me by Kaigo and Selena Gomez. Number 3 is That's What I Like by Bruno Mars. Number two is Something Like This by Coldplay and the Chainsmokers. Oh, I want something just like this. And number one is Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. I'm in love with the shape of you. We push and pull like a magnet. That's all of us. See you next week. Bye. Looking to get more out of your baseball? Check out this week's sports updater. It's the sports updater with Henry and Matt. And today we'll be talking about the Pirate Scoreboard. So exciting, Matt. Well, this scoreboard isn't just like a regular scoreboard. Then what is it? Well, it lets fans to play video games. What type? Like GTA? No, Mario. Roll the clip. Well, let me shout out Zach, Cole, and Ryan, just for being cool. That's it for today. Sports Updater signing off. Shout outs. Now to the calendar updater with another fun holiday that you have to buy, start buying gifts for. Hey guys, it's Alyssa. Today I'm going to talk about National Laughter Day. On April 14th, stop, smell the roses, and laugh a little, or a lot, because it's National Moment of Laughter Day. The unofficial holiday created by homologist Izzy Zell encourages people to forget the stresses of daily life and f give into the healing and relaxing power of laughter. And remember to be nice. You need to laugh because without laughter, you're just boring. But I don't know if that's actually true. But never mind. But never mind. Well, I think you will laugh after watching Ronnie's and Peyton's story. They're pretty funny. Well, I have to go. Go laugh and on this day. So, bye, MMS. Cal New MMS News Calendar Girl signing out. The fun is here and ready, so roll the JFL and get ready to laugh. Oh. Hey, let's go for the MMS Fires, right? I'm ready. I want to do it all. This episode is dedicated to the baseball 
times because right about now you start seeing all the little kitties playing ball. By the way, let's get to the <coughs> number three is probably this old man's first time being outside. Number two is just what? And number one is the hippity hop on a budget. My Keep laughing your face off. Stay classy and have a nice have a great weekend. weekend. I don't know what that was, but why? Here is your moment of zen. Hey, here we are, the moment of zen with Mr. Shevchik. Well, park's over. Some people are relieved. Some people are kind of sad. But it is what it is. So now we're going to talk about life after park. What can we do now that park's over? Mm, maybe get some more sleep. Maybe uh, read some books. Maybe science. Maybe we could uh, spend some time with our family and continue to eat some healthy snacks and a healthy breakfast. Or maybe we could just refocus back to our other schoolwork so then we can finish up the fourth quarter, the last quarter, really strong. Because we know that summer is right around the corner and it's always nice to be getting on that bus or walking home and taking that bicycle home with the helmet on that last day of school and to really have a really good report card in our hand or in our backpack. Because boy, who doesn't like that? So life after park, we're ready for it. We've worked really hard and I know that some of us are a little sad about park being over, but it's okay. We're gonna have park next year and high school does some type of park. I know that. So that's it. Mr. Shevchek, out. That's it. Gone.